On Cyber Monday, shoppers are, of course, looking for the best deals. Yep, but cyber thieves are also looking for deals, yeah. victims, you know. CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar is here with tips on how to protect yourself when you are online shopping. This did you do it today? Did you I, shop I online? Didn't, but I didn't. time's still in, right? I still have yeah. time. Oh, oh yeah. Time. I, I got his break. password and. <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> well, listen up then if you still have some shopping to do. Today alone, hundreds of malicious Black Friday apps and websites will be looking to steal from you. Cyber criminals create these fake apps and websites with realistic branding to fool you into giving away your personal data and credit card information. Winding lines for the register, shopping bags at every turn. Black Friday came and went with lots of happy customers. There was a line to wait outside. I didn't want to wait, but it was worth the wait. Now shoppers are turning their wallets to Cyber Monday. Sometimes Cyber Monday, I'm a little bit worried that um, your information will get to the wrong person. Dave Baggett, founder of anti fishing company Inky, says today's cyber scams are harder to detect than ever before. Mail from an attacker can look exactly like a mail from the real brand because it's easy for an attacker to just replicate the exact mail, save it and resend it. Since it's nearly impossible to spot a phony email, experts advise never open links or attachments from any company. Consumers are just better off just going straight to the site. Just type the name of the site in. Into, into the browser. Hackers even pose as shipping companies with fake delivery updates. Hey, you know, you've got a package and there was a problem with the package. Literally cut and paste the package tracking number from the mail. Scammers are trying to get your credit card number and your account logins for every website you sign into. If you log in here and do a survey, we're going to give you a $50 gift certificate. And pretty much those are scams. So be wary of any sender because hacker technology keeps getting better. You're the most vulnerable when you shop on your smartphone, and that's because you may not see the entire URL in the address field. Also, be careful when you download, download those apps. A recent study found about 5% of those Black Friday apps mm -hmm. that they have out there are actually scams oh, created by 5%. cyber criminals. Yeah, so if you download those on your phone, it's like giving them a key to all that information. Ooh, I would think the Apple's, at least in my case, I have an iPhone, that the Apple Store would, App Store would stop that. Yeah, well, you know, things always sneak through. So yeah, the best idea is, you know, if you find something on your phone, go into your browser, either on your phone or on your computer, and type in, instead of clicking on the link ah. that's like from yeah. Walmart, yeah. just go there and independently type in Walmart. And that way you know you're not clicking on a bad link, a right. bogus link. Right. Cool. Very good, good information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks for And enjoy that shopping. <laughs> Thank you. And can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side and we'll see what we can do to help your problem solve it.